Okay guys, now we're gonna be putting in the front shock mounts for the swing arms. All right, well, this is what I've done. I've taken one side and I've set it up. Now initially, this was going to be at about a 24 to 20 feet, 25 degree angle. But because I don't have those extra extensions for the hem joints, I'm gonna use just this, this round tubing right here to be my spindle. And I've beveled the edge so that way I get more swing on the arm without any collision on the rim of the hem joint. So you can see how I've beveled that. But regardless of how steep I make this, it still binds up. So the 24 to 25 degrees that I initially had this set at, some of that was taken away. So I'm at a like a 15 to 16 degree now. And now I don't have these completely, the whole, both arms resting on, just resting here. I don't have them resting because I don't want them to be resting. I have them, I have this bar clamped on one end and then squeezing this flat stock to raise it up a few degrees. Because on bottom out, I don't want any collision happening right here on the hem joints. Or not bottoming out, but you know, if I jump and they swing down, I don't want any collision being on the hem joints. I want the shock to stop that. Okay? So, pow! Now, was that fast or what? <laughs> well, pretty much what I did is, well, you can see it all here. I put the uh, crossbar support right there, the bracket for the shock, and it goes up, connects there. Now, this is all tacked in here because there's a few other things I got to do to this yet. Uh, I got to do the other side yet. You can see all that. Wait. Looks like the distance of the top part of the, looks like this distance and this distance is, what? Oh, no, they're even, okay. I'm like, oh my God, no! <laughs> yeah. Now what I'm gonna be doing here is the reason that I have it set up like this, this area right here is gonna be kind of vacant because that's where I'm gonna be putting lights. But the roll cage will come down and connect to this top bar right here. Either this top bar or it's going to connect in the middle of these. I haven't quite made up my mind yet. The thing that i got to keep in mind is my steering shaft has got to come down through here. So whatever I do up front here, I have to make sure that my steering shaft is going to be able to come down there. And I'm not going to have anything you know, for the rack and pinion once it's down inside there. Uh... Got the shock lined up in the center of the swing arms, not the center of either either one of the swing arms. It's not centered, so, but it is centered. The shock. Dang it, I'm back up here. The point of contact up top and the point of contact down below is in line with the bottom hem joint, so that and that are in line with each other. So, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I don't know. It felt right. So, anyways, uh, yeah, this is where I'm at. And everything, oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. Oh, no wonder. Okay. See, it's got some play in it because I don't have, uh, I don't have any bolts or don't have the nuts and everything all connected. And I don't have, uh, well, the play actually comes from these these eyelets have the rubber grommets in them. So it gives a lot of play and the bolts aren't completely the right size. Well, they are, but yeah. Just nothing's completely solid right now. I don't want to lift up too much because then I'll snap my little welds that I've got. Now, if you guys want to see how I set this up, I did another video that's a lot more detailed than this one is. Uh, the reason I'm doing it that way is because uh, I know you guys get bored on some of my videos. You guys don't like to actually technically watch the specific stuff I do, but some people do like watching it. So 
upload two videos when I do a build or whatever. Anyways, uh, another reason is is because I have looked at a lot of different builds and a lot of a lot of plans out there, and it seems like regardless of what the plans are, people always tend to use their own shocks. Uh, whether they're off of an ATV or off of some other existing machine or a motorcycle or whatever. Uh, so if I built the plans up to the point to only use these type of shocks, a person's going to have to fabricate all this whole front end right here so that way it adapts up to there. So what I'm going to do is in the plan, well, what I mean by that is that if you change this stuff, then other things are going to change like the roll cage connection points where it's going to connect down here at. So what I'm going to do is this, this bar here and this bar right here is going to be in the plans, but this point of connection, the shock, and this information right here I'm going to leave out. I'm going to leave just these dimensions out. but. In the other video, I tell you what all these dimensions are and how I set this up. So in the event anybody wants to buy the plans, you'll know what to do. Because I have a video on it. The other video to this one. This video right here that's taking up this little box, yeah. So, I mean I could put it in the plans, but it's kind of pointless if literally everybody who builds their own machine always use their own uses different shocks so yeah so I'm just gonna leave the shock out in these points and these where I have it mounted and all that kind of stuff um, but in the other video I explain where these are at where these connection points are at that sort of thing now after I get the other side done what I'll be doing is uh, I'll be working on the spindles I'll have to put the bolt coming out where the tire will be able to go on. So that's what we're gonna be doing next. Let me back up here a little bit. Looks a little even. This side here is dropped down a little bit because this side right here is being held up more with the shock. I want that because in the event I ever jump, I'm in free fall, the shock will push this down but when this stops, it's because it's stopping because of the length of the shock, not because it's binding up on my hem joints. I don't want the, I don't want this I don't want the A arms to bind up on the hem joints, and that's what stops it from collapsing. I want the shock to stop it from collapsing, going too far, you know. So, yeah. All right, guys. So there we go. I'm gonna get on out of here, and I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers and my new viewers. Hello, how's it going? Yeah, so last Saturday we had, there was a lot of stuff going on last Saturday. I didn't even give a shout out any videos prior to our live video chat that we did Saturday, which is the first Saturday of the month. Uh, it's kind of a thing that we do. Uh, but the thing is, is I didn't give a shout out for or let anybody know because uh, we always pretty much get the same crowd over there. So that's why I didn't let anybody know because, well, people don't care. So I didn't give a shout out about it. So anyways, I'm gonna keep plugging away at this. I think the next video I'll be doing here in the next few days is a Q&A video, because I'm getting a lot of people asking me questions about this or that or the other thing. I think I'm gonna be, I'll be doing a Q&A video pretty soon with the next few days. All right, bye-bye.